Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Talking today about footwork on a really short, straightforward approach shot. Okay? Um, when there's distance built in side to side on the approach shot, whether it's off to my left or off to my right, um, having built in space between me and the ball is, is a real key to, to being able to execute a full swing. Whenever we're running straight at the ball, because it's in the middle of the court, uh, the big problem I see is you guys end up running right at the ball and hitting a shot more like this on the approach because there's no space to swing out to the ball. Okay, It's a very cramped looking shot. Usually the reason for this is we're so far back at the baseline and the short ball you know, induces this feeling of, of kind of fear that, ah, I don't even know if I'm going to get there. So we all end up running directly at the tennis ball. And what we don't realize is more often than not, we're going to have a little bit of time once we're actually there. So it, it makes sense to be spaced, whether it's left or right, to, to hit a little more of a full swing shot. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to back up and I'm going to have a couple high short balls that's the other key I want you guys really again knowing the height of the ball as it crosses there will be some times that if it's just so close to the ground I have to run straight on and tap it over but the shot we're talking about today is short but it's gonna sit up so the footwork I, I like to use for this is, is kinda like a wishbone where my my initial line of my feet is gonna run me to the ball but when I'm a, a couple steps behind it I'm going to end up peeling off right or left, similar to the shape of a wishbone, choosing whether to hit forehand or backhand. I think I, I normally like to hit forehand, so I'll peel off to my left. But I want you guys to use this footwork where you're creating space to the side of a ball that was, that was on line with your body. Okay? So, you'll see the high short one. As I get in close, I'm going to kind of just bounce myself out a step or two to the left of the ball to create more of a full swing and not just have to tap this thing over. Okay, so I'm on a full sprint. Okay, and that mark, you could actually drop that a little bit shorter so I have a little more sense of urgency running up to this. You guys can see my momentum carries me pretty far into the court, but that last little move I make out to the left allows for a bigger stroke. And from that close to the net, I don't want to be forced to just tap the ball over. Okay, so the wishbone foot, footwork come up on the ball and in the last few steps, peel off left or right to create a little better swing for yourself. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.